we are going to talk to you about the road to globalization and how it impacted the world. Martin Luther was a large influence in the reformation of the Catholic Church. Martin Luther attempted to end the Catholic Church's selling of indulgences by composing his 95 Thesis to the German nobility. Martin Luther's reforms defended those who could not defend themselves. Martin was similar to people like Michelangelo and da Vinci as they changed the perspective of art and architecture. Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci were widely influential during the Renaissance. A new philosophy was created during the Renaissance called humanism, which is an outlook on things or life through a person's perspective alone instead of viewing things through divine forces or God. Literature was something very popular during that time. People like Michelangelo and da Vinci were key components of why the Renaissance is remembered in history. During the time of the Renaissance, people changed their perspective on things like if the world was flat or not, and this led to an increase of curiosity which ultimately led to exploration. Spanish conquistadors sailed to the Americas in search of resources and found gold, amongst many other things, in Central America. The boats used at first weren't made for long voyages and, in turn, were unsuccessful at voyaging across the Atlantic. People previously believed that the Earth was flat and that you would fall off the Earth at the horizon. This was disproved by Columbus in 1942. During the Age of Exploration, Spain rose above all European countries as a world power as they sailed across the world. As countries explored the world, they gained more power. Governments became stronger, and the church no longer had as much power as they did before, which led people to believe that they could govern their own decisions. This led to people such as Thomas Hobbes and John Locke in the Cultural Period. The two significant people in this revolution were Thomas Hobbes and John Locke because they introduced new ideas to the common people. Thomas Hobbes thought that the people should be governed by a select few because otherwise the people would become savages. John Locke believed that the people should be given the power to use what he defined as natural rights or rights that every person is born with. During the Cultural Revolution, we recognize Thomas Hobbes and John Locke who changed the way of political thinking. Thomas Hobbes and John Locke were inspirational thinkers. They led people to think outside of the box. This influenced people like Ptolemy and his theories in the scientific revolution. The Ptolemaic system, suggested by Ptolemy, stated that the Earth is at the center of the universe. Galileo taught mathematics and was the first European to make regular observations of the heavens using a telescope. Isaac Newton was born in 1642 and introduced the universal law of gravitation. During the revolution of science, Europeans such as Galileo and Newton were able to create scientific laws that would allow scientists to have an understanding of the general laws of nature. People influential to the scientific period were largely influenced by Thomas Hobbes and John Locke. These two would later influence many key leaders in the Enlightenment period, a period that reformed the way of thinking using reason, challenge related to tradition and faith, and advanced knowledge through the scientific method. John Locke and Thomas Hobbes were two key philosophers in the Enlightenment whose ideas are implemented into today's society. Hobbes and Locke's ideas were used by people like Thomas Jefferson to write the Constitution. Locke wrote that all men have a natural right to life, liberty, and property, or the fruits of their labor, which Jefferson changed to the pursuit of happiness when he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Locke also wrote that government is an instrument of the people's will, and the people have the right to rebel if the government proves to be tyrannical or defective. This argument has been used by many revolutionaries, but Jefferson was one of the first to use Locke's idea to justify revolution. The common people of America were fed up with the rule of the British king at the time and decided to rebel against the king's imposed taxes. The American colonists eventually overthrew the king's reign after eight years of fighting in the Revolutionary War. 
The French commoners spent a great deal of time trying to overthrow their monarch's reign. In the political revolution, the American colonists overthrew their English oppressors, as the French also did the same to their monarchy. As the politics in this world became stronger, the technology also needed to improve. This led to improved things in the Industrial Revolution. The railroad and the steamboat made the transportation of goods easier. Factories and assembly lines made more goods quicker. Many workers moved to America and Great Britain from impoverished countries like China and Ireland. In the period of the Industrial Revolution, England and America became the world's two superpowers as they had the availability of resources and people. As nations grew stronger and needed more resources, they went out and imperialized different places. This led to imperialization. England imperialized Australia and New Zealand to get closer to their trading partners in Asia. America imperialized Hawaii to farm sugarcane, coffee, and pineapple. America also imperialized Puerto Rico after the Spanish-American War. During imperialism, countries such as England became stronger as they controlled areas that had many resources. As strong countries went out and imperialized smaller countries, they also globalized the world. Globalization impacts the world by shrinking it. Globalization gives us access to more resources, ideas, and knowledge that we would never have had before. It helps us spread ideas and learn more about other cultures whilst increasing our knowledge and understanding of each other.